Aloha guys, this is Yolanda Racino, your real estate agent at Hartford Island Real Estate. And today I'm super excited because I'm here with Rachel Chantavong. And she has an amazing clothing line called Zoe Grace. And today we're going to get to know a little bit about her venture and why she started this line. So tell us. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, thank you um, for being here. You know, um, Zoe Grace has now been open for five years now. Oh, wow crazy it was an extra thing because full time I am a school teacher and then I have three kids and it's just crazy so adding one more thing to the mix was like oh my goodness but so I agree started five years ago I cannot believe it's been that long and it basically was birthed out of a season where I was like okay I want to do something I want to be involved not only in my community globally nationally I really want to like extend my hand honestly to the nation and so I was thinking about how can I do that and really asking God like how could I do that and so from there honestly I prayed about it I was like okay what am I gonna do and um, I was thinking okay I love fashion I love to shop so like put those two yeah, together very fashionable. oh my so gosh I love, Look, I, I love your style I love the t-shirt and you look um, fabulous <laughs> but like seriously I was just like okay so I put those two together I was like okay I'm gonna start a women's boutique and I was like I don't know what it's gonna be called and um, so I was like praying about it, thinking about it, and then I realized, okay, I got the word Zoe. I was honestly sitting in, I believe, a church conference, and I got the word Zoe, and it just kept like honestly like hearing the word Zoe. And Zoe means like new birth, new life in Greek. Oh, wow. So like a new birth. So I was like, okay, um, what's gonna happen? So uh, I literally sat on it for a year, because I was like, you know, once you speak it, you have to like do it, you have to live it, right? So I was like, okay, I want to do more. I want to be more. How can I do this for not only God's kingdom, but how can I reach out to organizations and honestly extend my hand out, you know? And um, that's when I was telling my husband a year later, and I was like, okay, so I know I got to do something. It's got to do with fashion or women's clothing because I love to shop because that's just like, I'm good at that. Well, I think I'm good at that. And he was like, okay, what about grace? Like, because by the grace of God, you're going to do something. And I was like, oh, wow. okay, oh, so Zoe wow. Grace. So yeah. it's the new birth of something, you know, new and then Grace. So we went with it. We flew with it. I had no idea what I was doing. Honestly, no joke. I just jumped into something and it was all self-taught. Learned some hard lessons um, as well as just, yeah, grew a lot during that season. And I feel like God put the right people in place to help me on that journey um, from like going into LA and going to the fashion district and buying, I had no idea what I was doing, but he already knew this girl who I met through a connect group, like a small women's group. Um, just told her like my crazy ideas, I'm gonna start a women's boutique. And she was like, oh, well, I sold clothes for 20 years. Like I was a buyer. And so then I was like, oh my gosh, you wanna go on a trip on me? And it just like rolled from there. So she showed me the ropes and then I started buying and we started just um, producing online, um, you know, from taking the photos to editing to shipping, everything was done by my husband and I. Wow. And so it just kind of then transformed, I would say about two years later, where I was like, you know, started to have a family and I was like, okay, now I can't definitely be going to LA every month because it just doesn't work with just our family dynamic. And so from there is where I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? Um, and honestly, I, in, I would say the depths of my heart when I decided to do something within clothing and for the kingdom, I just was thinking to myself, oh, I should do like a Christian shirt, you know, you know, shirts, Christian shirts. And I was like, oh my gosh, no one's gonna buy Christian shirts. Like, I'm not gonna do Christian shirts. <laughs> and honestly, I, I don't know why, but I think it was honestly, I can say now, it was fear. It was wow. fear that like, who's gonna buy a Christian shirt? Who would buy an inspirational word? Who would buy that on a shirt? And so, <laughs> so yeah, so then from there, I just was like, okay, God, I'm going to fully commit to be being obedient because I really believe that's what he called me to do, is to make sure it's that inspire people that encourage each other to really be the best they can be. And so I made that switch and I fully just went away from the clothing boutique. Um, and so I have the hardest time buying retail prices now because I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so expensive. <laughs> but I um, made the switch and I just, I just started. I just started from just sewing into God's word and whatever came to me, I created on a shirt. And I just really trusted and leaned in and said, okay, Lord, whatever you want people to see, whatever you want them to hear, um, to be encouraged or 
for those who just really need to know that they're not alone, then give me those words. And then slowly just kind of started the production. And now we are five years in wow. and we do kids, we do men, we do women, and um, we do a lot of matching for like moms and babies, which oh, is really popular. Yeah. Um, but it's just been so fun to be honest. And it just goes with our life because our life is busy. Like I said, like this is not my first thing. My first thing is teaching. Yeah, I remember. I remember when we met before COVID. Yeah. I remember you told me about your clothing line and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. But we never really went in depth about it. Yeah. So I'm excited that not only you're sharing it with me, but with the local yeah, community Yeah, of course, as well. of course. And um, that's super exciting. And I also noticed that you included face the mask. Because yeah, yeah, so like, yeah. You have okay. a mask, right? I do. And I think it's kind of cool. Yes. So it's, yeah, okay. this mask matches our fearless shirt. I love it. So I love it. It says fearless over yeah, here. And it just reminds it. us, I think, especially during this time where, man, fear can get the best yeah. of us, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. And so I really believe you just got to step on in faith. And right now, during this season, you know, we want to be smart, we want to make good choices, we want to be safe, obviously. But man, if we just, if we allow fear to just eat away at us, yeah. it really can just ruin, yeah. ruin everything. Yeah. And I really feel, believe that during this time, it's really, honestly, it's time for us to activate our faith. Like we talk about, we say it, but now we just got to really live it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And no, I um, and that's not as easy as, you know, saying like, oh, be faithful, you know? <laughs> when you actually have to do it, yeah. it's like, wow, this is yeah. hard. I really have to lean in. I really have to trust God. Yeah. Um, for what is next and what is happening in this season, especially right now where we don't know what is to come, you know. And yeah, like, yeah. No, I agree, and I feel like words are very powerful. And I always say, be careful what you say out loud because it's like your brain, your body reacts to that. So yeah. when you're wearing something that's inspiring you, yeah, you almost kind of want to keep up with that. You know, you always yeah. want to say, well, my shirt, my mask is saying fearless. I need to be fearless. Yeah. I really do. So yeah. we kind of, you know. Um, I, I love it. I love where you're going with all of this. I think it's super cool. Um, and so you only do online, correct? Yes. Yeah, so, you know, everyone asks me, are you going to open, gonna open up your own store? Because yeah. that was going to be I, the next question. So everyone asks me, what about brick and mortar? What do you think, you know? And obviously that would be amazing, but definitely not something that God has put on my heart. And so just really focusing on what God is calling me to do. And I think that not having brick and mortar allows me to keep prices reasonable yeah. and yeah. low yeah. and Especially I always know yeah and I just want to be I want to be reachable for everyone you know what I mean mm -hmm. to not have to like feel like they gotta spend like you know 40 bucks on a t-shirt or you know what I mean that they can buy all three of their kids a tea you know what I mean yeah. and I think like brick and mortar would be awesome but, but I think this season also is yeah. teaching us yeah. that really a lot of our business has been really online and I love it because I get to do you know do it at home and Honestly, we just do it all. We do the packing, the shipping, the wow. labeling, everything. So my husband is so amazing. He is literally my right hand man. Like he um, literally will come home from work, we'll feed the kids, we'll have our family time. Everyone goes to bed and then we start production. And That's we're like, amazing. okay, let's do it. And um, I really couldn't do it without him. But we're so thankful during this COVID season has just been such a, just an amazing season. You know, I think now is a time where people really are you know leaning into what they believe in and and really activating that faith and saying okay I'm gonna wear it now like I'm not gonna speak it I'm not going to live it but I'm gonna wear it and so um it's kind of like this shirt we made this shirt um during COVID and it says bless we live Hawaii and I think that Hawaii is, is such a special place and I really believe we're blessed to live here to be amongst like different races and different cultures and literally in a melting pot, right? Uh, yeah, you know, so that was going to be my next question. It's like you were born and raised here, correct? So I actually was born in Oregon. I moved here when I was 18 months old. Oh, so okay. I wish I could say born and raised. My husband always tells me, yo, you can't say that. But I'm like, um, but no, I am Hawaiian. Are. I told him, yeah. you're not Hawaiian. And you live in this, you're in Eva, correct? Yes, I'm in Eva. And um, yeah, so I've been pretty much here all my life. I actually grew up on the Big Island okay. and then moved here um, and got married and basically I've lived here ever since. Um, but yeah, my heart is here. I would probably never leave just yeah. because, you know, it's near my family. Mm -hmm. I think family is everything, especially in Hawaii, yeah. you know, that dynamic. So. Yeah. What made you choose ever compared to a different part of the island? You know what? Um, 
we kind of looked everywhere and we just really wanted some newer construction when we bought a place. And there's just not much newer construction um, that is like not in the million dollar range. Yeah. And so Eva was probably the most affordable. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to really live in Eva. But now that we live there, honestly, yeah, it's a little further to the freeway. Yes, there's traffic, but you know, on those rides into school and back, I just take advantage of them by talking to my kids, singing songs, singing worship, you know, I don't know, all kinds of things, you know, playing games, counting the cards, you know, things like that. And I think that time now is just our special time, you know what I mean? Where we get to talk stories. I feel like our kids are gone from us for most of the day, being at school and things like that. So um, even more so, it gives me some, kind of some quality time before we get our day started. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Do you think, so my last question is, do you think that you'll eventually go full time on your clothing line and leave the, the teaching, teaching side? Teaching? You know what? The honest truth is, I would love to. I would love to. Um, growing a small business is not easy. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of um, just grit to like just, you know, almost have that endurance to continue and let me, I mean, God has been so faithful so far and we continue to grow and um, I'm just taking one step at a time and I always tell my husband, like, if I ever closed down or if I decided this wasn't for me, like, wouldn't you be so embarrassed? And he's like, no way, I'd be so proud because so many people want to do something and they're so afraid and they never do it. Yeah, and they never do it and so, I don't know, like, if there's anything I can share is like, if if there's something on your heart just go do it I think we worry too much and we give people almost too much credit where credit is not deserved you know what I mean or earned and they dictate our choices and you know what life is so short that we gotta just step into it we gotta have faith that okay even if it doesn't work out that's okay I tried it and I feel like that's what Zoe Grace says each day is a new day and oh my goodness it would be my dream to be operating in this business where I have employees and I can start <laughs> delegating because girl I'm the packer the shipper you know everything we do ourselves yeah. um, and that's how we also keep cross though but we are growing and I'm excited because the growth means that there's new and bigger things to come yeah. and so I'm excited to see what that looks like so I'm definitely, nice. definitely <laughs> yeah I love teaching but this is really my passion this is really my joy because I think that if a shirt can start up a conversation if a shirt can grow a relationship, you know what I mean? There's so many things that can happen through relationships. And I think just, honestly, that's where it begins. And like, there is just endless options to what can happen. I mean, look at us, we just met. Know, and like, it's just, it's like so good to just connect yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and talk stories and just see how one another, one another is doing, etc. And I think, you know, that's what those teas are. They're like, you know, they're almost like, something that is it, it does something that I can't even explain and it reaches people sometimes in the depth of where they are like where people are struggling and they just need to be affirmed so my my girlfriend Heidi always says girl it's fashion affirmation so I'm like okay it's a fashion affirmation I can totally see you know what I mean <laughs> so she's like yes girl it's affirmation because we need to be reminded you know like um the other day my friend was sharing about how she's just trusting and believing and I just remember it. It's like our shirt that says, you know, enjoy the trust and process, enjoy the journey. You know what I mean? Or like when you're nervous and you're jumping in, even with fear, because you're scared, but you're still going to do it anyways. I think of our shirt, fear less. Doesn't mean you don't have any fear. It just means you're jumping in with fear, knowing that God has already gone before you. He's already working things out. And um, and yeah, what do you have to do, right? I absolutely love it. Rachel, thank you so much for being You're here. You're welcome. You have no idea. I feel so honored. Oh my gosh, no, not at all. I Honor definitely mine. look forward to doing another follow-up video yes, with you. Let's do it. And see where you're at six months from now. Or yes. possibly. I don't want to wait a year. That sounds too Oh my far. gosh, yes. Um, but before I let you go, um, share with the local community. Where can they find you? Where do you have a website? Do you have social okay. media? Yeah, for definitely sure. Definitely share that with Okay, so we are online at shopzoegrace.com. We have men's, women's, and KDTs, as well as matching sets for our moms and babies. But you can find us on there, or you can find us on our Instagram, shopzoegrace is our Instagram handle. And love to talk to you. Reach out to us, DM us. We love it all. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you guys, and there you have it. Again, this is Yolanda Racinos with Hartford Islands Real Estate. And make sure you check us out on our local community webpage, uh, parkbench.com slash cafe. And if you want to be uh, interviewed and featured as well, definitely hit me up. But thank you so much.